Oh, hello. Sorry, yes, I exaggerate a little bit, but um, this is the Panasonic GH5 and it has served me well for the past six years. I'm sorry for the smile. The GH5 has a color mode named HLG. Now wait a minute. This is the one year anniversary of the Lazy Posy channel. So let's start with the gag reel instead of placing it at the end because that's the only fun thing about this video. Enjoy! <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, at least I can laugh about it, that's important. <laughs> Come on! Well. <laughs> Uh -huh. Oh, my egghead. <coughs> I just came up with this prayer. That's why I have to laugh so hard. Right. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. Now the boring and technical part. The GH5 has a color mode named HLG. I used a LUT, Leeming LUT, yes, very technical, to get the colors as close to real life as possible. The only downside was that I could not record higher frame rates in HLG. And I like to do that from time to time. Huh? These are the wrong clips, sorry. About half a year ago, I tried the GH6. It was a disappointment. It was extremely noisy at low ISOs and a higher dynamic range was only available at very high ISOs. But most importantly, it had extreme streaking issues, making the camera, for me, basically useless. And the one 300 frames per second recording I did had corrupted frames. Hey, that's the wrong clip again, sorry. Anyway, I returned it. And then I saw some promising reviews about a Sony camera, the A6700. This camera had two major issues. The stabilization was useless for video. As demonstrated in this crop, it jumps really weird instead of moving smooth. Apparently this is an issue with many Sony cameras. Big fail. Another big fail, apparently also with many Sony cameras, is a clipped blue channel when there's a lot of yellow in the scene. And if you like to capture sunsets like me, that's the last thing you want. Shortly after I returned that, I accidentally discovered the Panasonic G9 II. It's supposed to be aimed at photography, but its video capabilities outperform both that Sony camera and the GH6. And even though it's not completely free of streaking, it only happens at high ISOs. Oei, ISO 4000. And it performed well in my tests. So, should I keep this one and again make no money with my videos? It takes a lot of learning and customization to make the camera nice to operate. For example, why would you change the brightness of the display if the scene is darker? That's stupid! Sorry, sorry. With the G9 II, you can record slow motion up to 240 frames per second with less compression when using an external drive, according to this menu. So I connect one. But now it suddenly cannot exceed 60 frames per second in any mode. It turns out you need to buy this contraption to exceed 60 frames. And you cannot use the battery charger, which is this contraption for that. Which, by the way, is not included. You have to buy the charger separately. What the hell? So, worship the GH5. 